Hi guys, welcome to another video and today I'm playing Roblox Fishing Simulator. I have not played this game on my YouTube channel, so this may be new for some of you. So today I'm going to show you in this game all about fishing and selling your fish for coins. And also if you have some rare fish you can put them in your aquarium. And there are some upgrades like pets which give you upgrades and you can get gems to buy like boats and upgrades for your fishing rod and you can also spend money on chests which have a chance of getting rock and you can sell your fish for money so I might as well sell my fish so I get 680 coins at the moment right so uh, let's Ooh. get started with this video okay so now to get started with this video, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to get, uh, how to fish in the lava at Eruption Island uh, in the volcano, because there's lava in the volcano. But to fish in the lava, you need a, a lava rod. And to get that, I will show you how to get that in this, today's video. To get in Eruption Island, you need to be on level 10 in the game. And I just turned level 10 on this account. So I am going to show you how how to get the how to get the fish from the lava and the lava rod so first you need to take off to eruption island if you have unlocked it as i said you need to be on level 10 to do that so if you go do you go here so from yeah i use the parachute guy and the, yeah so it's a nice island but to get in you need to go through this white portal so I will get in right now yeah so there's also a man outside it, Kai I don't think he really does anything I, I've not seen him do anything but he might do, I'm not sure maybe a bit later, progress so so if you go on the usual skin so, yeah. so if you go on the usual skin this is the default skin and probably I think some other skins as well it, it says uh, 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 it looks like you need a special rod to fish here well the rod is the lava rod and to get that there's an obby to complete that's quite a lot of parkour so it might be a bit tricky but at some times it's maybe a bit tricky but yeah now I'm gonna try and do this so first I need to do these jumps so there's these a basic jumps at the start and oh yeah um you might need to sprint while doing this and to sprint on the pc which is what i'm using the computer uh, you hold shift and then you can walk with a w or or the arrow key which goes up so yeah you can hold shift and do that and i think yeah on the on the xbox because you can play this game on Xbox because you can play Roblox on Xbox um, on Xbox it's hold LT which is the left trigger and then you can do that and I'm not sure on tablet devices you can do that on mobile devices I'm not totally sure but um, if if a mobile device is allowed to play this game but a tablet device is allowed to play this game I'm not sure if you can spin but you might be able to so I need to get back up there so hang on so after you climb these ladders yeah there's these jumps you have to do after you climb the rock ladders so I started off well that's the entrance to the cave which is uh, over there and then I went down on here did this parkour and went up those rock things okay yeah that helped a lot um <laughs> yeah so i went up there and went up there okay so from here you go up this rope you just um uh, walk into the rope which is not that realistic yeah and then you have to come across this um that that's the hard jumps i think they're harder those little jumps but again you walk in the rope and yeah you can do over it right i think there's a checkpoint around here 
Okay, so around here there's a checkpoint. So if you die from now on, I think it's around that rock. If you die from here on, then you'll come back here. So um, there, I think there are three checkpoints. So the first checkpoint is at the start of the obby. Then it's there, I just showed you, and then a bit later on there's... Well, I think it's one more checkpoint, yeah. Or maybe two, not totally sure. Right, so yeah, if you just carry on from here, there's this spine you have to walk up. And then there's this ro uh, There's this long stick, and you just jump down. Right, here's the first cannon. So if you're thinking, you can't get across. So I think the next place you need to go across to is over there. So I have no idea why this is there. Probably to get back if you want to. Yeah, so activate. It activates some rocks. And then one at the end is going up and down. So the rocks, if it's activated, the rocks are dark. Which means they've been activated by a cannon. If someone else activates the rocks, you can't see the rocks, only they can see it. So if you see one, uh, uh, see someone floating on the lava, probably means that they spawned in some rocks. If you see one, okay. So after you've done this little bit, here is the next checkpoint, and I think it's the final checkpoint. Then you need to come across here. Right, there are three ways to go. All of them are going to be used. So first, you go on the first one. So I have to just to just complete this little obstacle course go on this rock and this is a bit harder but you have to jump on here and jump up until you can't so and hold the w key if you're on pc or the forward key until you can't move up anymore and then just jump onto this don't jump while you're climbing because then you just bounce back so yeah and then after there's this cannon another cannon which spawns a dark rock that's probably been patched because it's not there anymore. Yeah. Alright, so if you go up this ladder, then come on this rock, then there's this rock that we spawned in, and we have to try and jump from that onto here. Ideally, sprinting, I think that's the best way, but yeah. Okay, and then there's another rock. It's not a really dark rock, so it isn't the rocks we have spawned in, it just was there. And then there's another cannon. So we're going to spawn in a rock just over where my mouse is going. So, yeah, there we go. That should go up and down if we just give it a second. Or maybe just activate it again and it might do that. Yeah, there. But then you need to go back, but the easiest way to go back is just to plop in the lava. And then you're back at the checkpoint, and then there's the number three, you have to go on the third. And if you just cross this loop, this obstacle course. Okay, then after this, oh, I nearly died there. You have to walk up this ladder, so you just walk. Uh, not a ladder, rope. So you just walk into it, which is how you do it. I you know, that's a bit weird, but how it works in this game so um yeah if you go down here then you can try and do this little rock um this is similar to the one a bit earlier okay then there's an arrow pointing down here so you need to go down and then jump on this rock which i think we did spawn in from the other one Jeez, anyway. so from um the place there from the um second arrow thing and then there's this, which is not the easiest. Uh, I sometimes just skip this last one. It's easier. If you, if you can sprint, then the, I, I just skip. And then you have to wait here, because there's a very slow rock going up and down. You have to wait until the rock comes down. So there's a slow rock. And then the rock goes to an area where there is a, should be a chest um, to get and then which gives you the lava rod so and then yeah if you head on this rock try to get as close to the end like about about this 
then probably sprint, that would be the best. So, and then... Oh no, it's down here. <laughs> and then, yeah, if you jump on here, they should there should be a chest here. And the reason there's no chest is because I've already done this and I figured out how to do it. So then I decided to post this YouTube video on, so... Yeah, there should be a chest here, which should give you... If you go to skins after you've done it, it should give you a lava rod. Also, if this is the first time you've done it, which is not mine, well, if it's not the first time you've done it, then there's no chest like me. Then if you go to this achievements and go down, it should say lava obby and you should get 300 coins. So if you click claim a reward, or it was somewhere like that. So, then, now you've done this, the, uh, the quickest way to get back to the to the lava if you want to fish there straight after which I did uh, is to just uh, jump in the lava so you go back to this checkpoint and usually um, uh, well to get to that it's all the way down there somewhere to get to that um, chest area so then if you go down here there's this oh I, I also was going to show you something you can get a free reward Um, every 12 hours I think it is it's quite hard uh, you do have to jump on here well that's you don't have to but that's what I do it's a bit easier and then if you jump on here there should be a chest which opens every 12 hours so every 12 hours you can do that so open again in that yeah um, and also there are quite a lot of places in this map okay so if you if you if you jump in the lava and come back to a checkpoint yeah so there are quite a lot of places in the map where there is those chests just around the map around the um, game maps right so usually to get to that area where the chest is you go that direction but if you want to go quickly back to the start you go in the opposite direction and then jump in the lava and you should go to the checkpoint before usually you go this way around but if you go the other way around I figured out this thought it was quite cool and then if you jump down here you are the oh geez you are the original place and that's the entrance right now I'll show you the well there are three fish you can catch in this area so I, I learned that if I zoom out I can sort of see the fish and if I if I learn what the fish look like. So this fish I'm catching right here, I'm catching a fish is a rare magma largemouth bass. Uh I, I just call it the rare fish of this area, just the rare fish. Simple. So and this one, uh, because it's so slow, the speed, I think it probably is a common fish, because there's a common. And then there's one more, a legendary. So if I just aim it in the water, zoom out, I, I'll see when I have a legendary. So I need to wait. Oh, that was a legendary. No, I missed it. So it looks, it's a swordfish, sort of. Like. So it looks similar. I think it's similar to the one in Port Jackson. I think there's a swordfish there. That's a rare. I, I'm just waiting till I get that. Okay, it's so catching one. I hope, hopefully, I'll catch this. Okay, legendary magma swordfish. So now I've got all the fish in this area. So if you go to the fish index, which is here, under this inventor, uh, under this um, you know all the players. And then if you go to Volcano Lava, which is towards the bottom, then there are three of the fish. A Magma Trout, which is common, a Magma Largemouth Bass, which is rare, and a Magma Swordfish, which is legendary. So, um, and those are the three fish you can catch here. Okay, so I think the point of ca uh, having the able to catch these fish, that makes sense, if you go to Rigan's uh, in Rigan's tavern, which he, he sells gems, so it's on Port Jackson. Is this Rigan's tavern? If you go in here, he should sell some items, uh, some fish. If 
for gems. So at the, the moment, seven uh, uh, magma largemouth bass. Uh, if I get seven magma largemouth bass, uh, I, I can take that. And then if I catch seven, I come back. I give all the seven to him, I get 25 gems, which will be useful. So I think that might be the end of my video at the moment. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you. And I'll see you another time. Bye. Bye, everyone.